Oh, you love this game? Well, I don't. You know why? Because this game takes advantage of kids, and it's really, really stupid. I mean, you could put the price of this game down a heck of a lot. Because, yeah, they get a little bit better every time. I know I've said that in every video. But no, they are not worth the money they charge. Not $10 for a piece of crap like this. Because... I know this is going to be a six minute rant, and please stay for the six minute rant. I promise you, you will enjoy it. And you may be thinking to yourself, hey, I see, don't you normally script your videos? Oh, I normally do, but I thought to myself, this game isn't worth my time to waste an hour scripting. You know why? Because this game makes no sense. I'm not gonna be talking about too much about anything because this game is all over the place. The story in this game is like a soap opera. I talked about that in one of my shorts, and the story makes absolutely no sense. Let's go find a scepter. The jester. Oh, I want to be laughed at. So he goes with these random people and is turned into some weird creature. This story is so convoluted, so weird, so whatever. It's just, I don't even think Super Horror Bros is going to make a video game explain video on this. It's so weird and just... But you may be thinking to yourself, hey, I see. It's okay, none of the stories have ever really made that much sense, and I agree. However, this one makes little to no sense, and you know why? Because it doesn't. It doesn't. The other ones didn't make a whole lot of sense either, but this one makes no sense at all. They made no attempt at his story. All I know is the naughty ones or whatever came out of the kangaroo's pouch. Then there's this weird business one, and he's basically attacking all of them. And as he attacks each and every one of them, he somehow converts them to his side by making them change to a grayish color, which just is so great. And then finally me and Ban Ban and Nab Nab and freaking Jester or whatever the heck his name is, go out and we find the scepter. And once we find the scepter, you know what happens? Well, we get giant Nab Nab and then we run away and it still doesn't kill this guy like it easily should. And you know what's even better? We that scepter we found we're missing a piece and we just left it there we never even picked it up like what the heck and then every single character that we knew ban ban freaking nab nab whatever were all converted to the side of this evil business guy or whatever like you don't even know why he has a tie he just does and then your favorite part the next game that's what everybody really loves when it's the next game oh yeah just wait now here's what makes me really mad the gameplay is only an hour and 21 minutes and that's not really gameplay a lot of it's the long long talking segments they have and the extremely tedious gameplay that they added into this game and you know what it all adds up to an hour and 21 minutes it doesn't even go over an hour that is how bad this game is. They can't even make a game over an hour and a half because, well, they can't. They couldn't make a legitimate game. And listen to you, Euphoric Brothers, you guys can change. I believe in you. But this is my rant, and when I'm ranting, you should understand that I'm ranting. And you may be thinking to yourself, an hour and 21 minutes? Thank goodness, I don't want to be playing Ban Ban that long. Well, you may be right. However, remember, you're paying $10 for an hour and 21 minutes of mediocrity and probably a terrible game in my opinion. It's probably one of the worst games I have seen Ban Ban ever make. I meant the Euphoric Brothers. But I just think it is just so incredibly bad for me and others to sometimes talk about this game because we know it's bad. I just like to mock it. And I just see like how this game is moving forward and it's not like it's ever changing. It's still continuing with this idea of let's be bad until we have to stop. Like let's just keep making the same stuff over and over and over. Let's not change. Let's just get a little bit better. Let's not get that much better. When I run cross country, we are going to try to strive to do the best we can, even if it's a massive improvement. However, the Euphoria Brothers have made incredible amounts of money off of the Ban Ban franchise, and I highly doubt they've reinvested a lot of that back into the games. So, they should have a lot of money to put into future installments to make the graphics better, to just make the assets better, make everything better. Because I know they're probably playing a little bit into the idea, oh yeah, we stole assets and everything, which they I know they did. And I think that's bad. It's bad for us as the creators to be telling them this, 
and it's bad for them because they don't want to improve because it's getting them the recognition that they do not deserve. However, they are smart on marketing, I'll give them that, but game making wise, this game is not impressive in the slightest. And I think we as the creators are held responsible for this because as we continue to talk about this game and all of its little flaws, it actually helps them because everyone's like trying to mock it. And then as they mock it, Ban Ban wins because they laugh at us as they make the money and we lose ours. And not only us, the YouTubers giving them our money, but as we mock it, our viewers could be susceptible to the same thing. Just going to mock it with their friends and wasting their money. Or sometimes us spreading the word to other people about Ban Ban and then other people buying the game. And I don't think this is a good thing because we are not improving the Ban Ban games. They stay mediocre. But what do you guys think? I see, I see, out.